Hi everyone, my name is Alex. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm going to be doing a bunch of skincare trial videos. Let's hop right into this review. Today I'm reviewing a little bit of a different product for me. I'm going to be trying a sunscreen, which I am excited, nervous. There's a lot of emotions I'm feeling with this product. This sunscreen is by a brand called Native. Now Native, you've probably seen in your local Walmart, Target. It became something that I noticed was becoming more popular when I was in high school, which was about three years ago-ish. I honestly didn't know that Native had a sunscreen until I started getting Instagram advertisements for it. My advertisements are very full of skincare, as you could imagine. <laughs> I use Native's body wash. I think they're a brand that is built off of deodorants. That's kind of how they started. They're a naturally focused brand. I like all of their products because the ingredients are usually listed as out with a purpose as to why they are in the product. It's really good for people who are not skincare experts or don't know much about skincare ingredients whatsoever because it gives you the ability to know why that ingredient is in your product. Another thing that I really like about this sunscreen in specific is that they actually have fragrance free options which I feel like should become more of a normal thing for skincare brands to do. This is a mineral sunscreen which I try to focus mainly on mineral sunscreens because it is better for the environment and ever since I had an outbreak of contact dermatitis I have only been using mineral sunscreen since then. I want to go into this review just saying that I am a hundred percent a consumer. I am in no means an expert whatsoever. I just am someone who loves skincare. I was just looking online and the only thing that I was able to find about this product was that it was vegan and cruelty free but by looking at the ingredients I I also see that it's alcohol free and they do have fragrance free options. Now this product retails for $16. I actually purchased it off of the native website and this is not sponsored but I used honey and I got more off of it so <laughs> make sure you have honey downloaded. The main ingredient that I'm going to talk about that native wants to highlight is 20% zinc oxide which if you don't know what zinc oxide is it is the main filter used in mineral sunscreens most of the time you'll sometimes see it paired with titanium dioxide. That is the only ingredient that I am personally going to talk about on my channel, but I am going to leave a link to the native website and they do go into detail of all of the ingredients that they have in this product with a description of what it does. It's very helpful that they have provided that resource for their consumers and I think that more brands should be focused on this type of transparency. Let's talk about something that I really like to focus on when I am trying out a sunscreen. I I just want to first say I am a white creator and some things that don't have a white cast on me wouldn't work for people with darker skin than me. I have asked my friend Katie to try out this product and I am actually having her come over tomorrow to see how it works on darker skin. She definitely does not have the darkest skin but I know that she has a lot of issues with finding mineral sunscreens. Right before filming this I searched through the internet to see if there were any black creators or creators of color that have tried this sunscreen. As of right now when I am filming it, I do not see any representation with this sunscreen. So I am really wanting to invite Katie here to try to give a face to my audience who may be curious how the sunscreen is going to look on your skin. So that is the big thing that I am looking for in this product. I first want to see if it has a white cast on me. If it doesn't leave a white cast on me or if the white cast fades, I do want to see how it works on darker skin and see if this is a sunscreen that Katie could use or someone who has a similar skin complexion of Katie could use it. Usually mineral sunscreens are not the best for people of color and black people, but this says that it's sheer and this says that it's ghost free. I'm hoping that it lives up to that. Another thing that I really am curious about is does this feel heavy? Does this feel greasy? Does this feel sticky? I find that a lot of times the problem with sunscreens is that people don't want to wear them. I feel like if it's a greasy, very heavy sunscreen, nobody's going to want to wear that. Native brands this as a product that does not ghost you. So I'm hoping that that also means it's very light 
right way and will almost be like it's not even there. The last thing that I am looking for in this product is just, does it clog my pores? Does it cause acne? Those are the three things that I'm mainly looking for in this product. I am going to check in whenever I am first using the product. Just to show you what it looks like as I apply it, I will have Katie with me at some point in this video and she has agreed to try the sunscreen and give me her impression of it. She's a very honest person and I love her so much for that. I am so excited to have Katie on this channel also because Katie means the world to me. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Okay, hi everyone. I probably look just a little bit crazy right now. I just got out of the shower. I wanted to try out this sunscreen natural light. Katie is supposed to be coming over not too long from now. I am trying it for the very first time. I did just a little bit of a spot test and it did seem to be transparent. So we're going to hold our breath. <laughs> it is white and it's scary at first. I'm gonna like show you. I'm gonna do four pumps. That feels about right. I don't like doing skincare outside of my bathroom. Very white. It doesn't really have a fragrance to it. Okay, it feels very lightweight as it's going on. I always get my ears back of my neck. I'm noticing just a little bit of a white cast. Let me look in the mirror. It's very lightweight though. It doesn't feel like a sunscreen. Like it almost feels like a moisturizer. I'm noticing just a little bit of a white cast at first. Not too bad on my skin. Of course, when I use it, when I'm like looking in the mirror, it will be a little bit better because I can get a better judge of everything. It's not sticky. It's not greasy. I am curious to see how this will look on darker skin because I do know it's just a little bit of a white cast, but also look how pale I am. Next time you see me, I will be with Katie. So yeah, I'll see you all then. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hi everyone. This is what I okay, go ahead. I'm with Katie. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. hi. You wanna try out the sunscreen? ASMR. How much? I did three pumps. You, you always use too much. Okay. With sunscreen, I like to go over and beyond. Okay. Above and beyond. You think that's good? One more. <laughs> Just smear it around. Give it a good smear. Hey, queen. Not today. <laughs> Do you like the studio space that we're in today? It has really good acoustics. Yeah. Hey! So, right. sister. Hey. <laughs> okay. I can't see anything, but... Look in the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like one of those dogs, you know, in the animal shelter, where they're like... <laughs> they put the, the tiny microphone next to him and they're like, is there anything you'd like to say? And they're like, <laughs> what if I just started biting? <laughs> I would ask you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so she is half white. How are we feeling? Uh, mm, it's, it's, for now, it's a little white. I'm trying to really get it in. Tell me more. <laughs> I'm so sorry to your audience. <laughs> My two viewers are like, oh God. I don't Look think in the it's mirror. bad. Look okay. in the mirror. Reflect on what you've done. I don't think it's bad. Come over here in the natural light and let's let's look. Do you want to check your phone? Check on your phone and see how it looks okay. on phone. On phone. Would you like to see how it looks Would on phone? Would you like to see how it looks viral? Okay, I actually really don't think it's like do I look white? No. Looks like it. <laughs> no. no. It looks like it. It almost like <laughs> It almost looks like your natural skin tone. How does it feel? How do you feel? It's more like dewy kind of. Dewy, okay. That I, I mean, personally, like that's what I feel. I mean, mm -hmm. it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't really feel like I have anything on. I'm surprised because when I rubbed it in on my wrist at first. It was it, white. Yes, it was very white. You um, feel like you would wear it like every day, day to day, you would just throw it on, put makeup on over it. I honestly think so. Honestly, um, okay. Of it, course, it, we've only used it once. Well, yeah, in 30 minutes, I might completely change my mind. Right. I like it. Okay, you like the feel? I, I, I don't think it's bad. It's not like other mineral sunscreens you tried in the past. No. Good. Because some of them have lift a white cast. Lift a white cast. I just... <laughs> you can look in the camera, too. I looked in the natural light, <laughs> and it felt... Wait, 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 this right here. Oh. I looked in the natural light. <laughs> I'm I'm looking there. Oh, Does it okay. not look like I'm looking there? <laughs> I've looked in the natural light and I think it's not bad. So you would recommend it? I would recommend it. And of course I, I would like to see how the long wear, mm -hmm. you know, how it feels after a while. Or if it would kind of start coming back up or Yeah. Cuz I know some of them 
kind of like that white cast sets in like later, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. So I don't want it to me to be out in public and then all of a sudden like I look. Right, exactly. Like, and of course no. you're, you're definitely not the darkest skin tone and that was what I said before going into this. There are no people of color that have tried this product. There's no black people that have tried this product. They have black models on mm -hmm. the actual advertising of this. Yes, you need to think of what your reviews are gonna be. You're never going to- At the very least, to, ask a person of color or a black person to try it out. To try you it know? out. The company is never gonna say, you know, this doesn't work on black people. Like, I don't think they would, they would, in today's society, I don't think they would no, market No, they would it release that. it and then- They would release it and then face the backlash and not do anything about it. Exactly. So I feel like having you, this is a step in the right direction to yes. have you here and trying out this product. I think we've done all we need to. Okay, I'll we've let done, you go. We've done the damage that I'll we've done. So I'll see you on the next check-in. And okay, everyone say bye. Would you like to say bye? Sleep, 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 sleep. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Hi everyone. I've been using it for a few days since I last checked in with Katie. Something that she pointed out that I've kind of noticed, like I asked her to look at my face before we started recording and I was like, hey, so I'm using the sunscreen right now. Something that she did point out that I thought was very interesting was that sometimes sunscreens reactivate in a way. The white cast reactivates in the sunscreen and it like looks worse as you go on throughout the day. The first day that I used the sunscreen, I noticed that. Like it felt like I got more white as the day went on. The second day, I didn't use as much. I kind of felt like I didn't use enough the first time that I used it, but I think I did. It was just very lightweight and I was like, wow. This is a pretty great sunscreen so far. I've only used it for almost a week now, so I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer before I do my final check-in, but I will see you all in the next check-in. I don't know when that is. I'll see you all then. Hi everyone, so I am back with my final thoughts on this sunscreen. I've been using this product daily and I am very impressed with it so far. I do know that sunscreens sometimes can take longer than two weeks to figure out if you like them or not, but from what I've seen from this product, I found out that it is very lightweight. It is also not greasy on your skin. Some sunscreens I've used in the past, specifically mineral sunscreens, have given me problems where they feel too greasy on my skin or say I take a phone call or something and I will see half of the sunscreen on my phone. I kind of expected an SPF 30 mineral sunscreen to not give me too many problems. I'm glad that this sunscreen has lived up to what I was hoping for. The only thing that I cannot definitely say is how well this works on deeper skin tones than Katie. The only thing that I noticed about the sunscreen that I have to talk about is that I do do apply sunscreen to the tops of my eyelids right here and I have to do a little bit more working with it. There will be some pretty harsh white lines on the top of my eyelids sometimes and I will see it. All I have to do is just go like that and it fixes it. But that's the only thing that I've noticed with this sunscreen. The white cast does not come back after using it and wearing it for a long time. I did notice the first day that I used it that it did but I think that's just because I put too much on. It was so lightweight that I didn't feel like I was wearing any sunscreen and that kind of freaks me out. Hi everyone, I'm actually editing in my car at the moment. I just wanted to talk about one thing that I did forget to mention in this video. This product did not cause me any acne, did not clog my pores at all. Usually I've had sunscreens clog my pores within the first like three days of use. That's usually when I start having trouble with it and it usually gets worse over time. I have been using it for about a week longer. I did not experience any clogged pores from the sunscreen. But yeah, so that was the only thing I wanted to say. Someone's honking. Someone's mad. Let's get back to the video. As for how I feel about the sunscreen, I would definitely recommend it. It is a simple mineral sunscreen that I actually feel like is the best type of mineral sunscreen because you don't want all of these harsh ingredients, you don't want all these sensitizing ingredients in something that's supposed to protect your skin and your skin barrier. So I feel like having the sunscreen have you ingredients and being able to control if you want fragrance or not, how the sunscreen is built and developed, I really have an appreciation for it. I feel like the sunscreen is great for people with sensitive 
skin, in my personal opinion. I'm hoping that this product will eventually come to drugstores, come to Walmart, Target. I feel like more people need to have access to this. Thank you all so much for watching this review. If you like it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I will see you all in the next video, whenever that is and whatever that is. So yeah, I'll see you all then.